Hey guys, if you're not familiar with Assassin's Creed multiplayer, click on the link in the video description for a brief explanation on how it works before watching this video. So before I begin the match, I want to talk about knowing your enemy. You should always be keeping track of who your opponents are, especially the higher level ones. You can do this by bringing up the scoreboard to see who's who. In this clip, I know Devil Kill God is a prestige level player, and I've encountered him several times in the match so I know what he's capable of. I move off to the side a little bit so he doesn't really see me coming. And here I see Devil Kill God accidentally kill a civilian. Now when that happens, the player cannot attack or defend for a short period of time. So I use my throwing knives on him to prevent him from running away. And I could just walk up to him and stun him, but I know he uses smoke bombs because he's used them before. Now I notice he's near some boxes so I use them to my advantage. I climb up on top of them and get an acrobatic kill on him because acrobatic kills and aerial kills are not affected by smoke bombs as you can see here. And my final tip is to run into your pursuer and die. First blood. Come out, come out wherever you are. If you show yourself, Dr. Samson can give you a free acupuncture for those aching backs and those tense muscles of yours. You have to be quick though because this offer ends soon. And here's my first patient! You know some people say my methods are kind of unorthodox, people generally use needles, I just stick my blade up your spine. Watch this, I'm going to go into a blend group and then walk past my target just a little bit so that he doesn't immediately know it's me and then go in for the kill. I should have waited a couple of more seconds for the full 450 points, but eh. Oh crap. Uh, so when you have multiple pursuers, try to go to the edge of the map. Um, that way you don't have to worry about your pursuers coming in from all sides when you're in the middle of the map. When you're at the edge of the map, you only have to worry about them coming in from like two or three sides. Is it is is it this guy? I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to creep up behind him and then BAM! Smack him back of the head. Ah no, it turns out I was wrong. He took care of my pursuer for me. Thank you. Ah, I was hoping he wasn't looking behind him. What? Where is he? Oh. Can I get a grab kill? Can I get a grab kill? Yes we can! Yes we can! Just like Obama said. Oh look at that! Times 3 multiplier! Mmm. Lovely. So where's my target now? Let's go find... Uh... Uh... <laughs> Let's not go that way. Where where are my pursuers? Oh well, thank you for giving yourself away. A new player has joined the game session. So here's a tip for trying to find your target in a small map. Just like the tip I gave you before, walk along the edge of the map, that way you only have to look for your target in three different directions. And thank you! Uh, so don't run up to your pursuer just like what I did right now. Um, I don't know, I thought, you know, he's new to the game so maybe I could get off a stun. Ah, oh god! So yeah, I thought maybe I could get a stun off of him, but yeah, more than likely he's going to kill you, so don't try to run up to your pursuer and try to stun them. Ah, uh, there's my pursuer. Ah! No! Mm, 
She flanked me hard. Hmm, where is this guy? Ah, uh, he's one of these guys, and I have three pursuers on me, so I gotta do this quick. Damn it, I messed up the line of sight technique. Ugh. Well, that's what happens when you panic and you try to rush through it. Man, I'm just making mistakes left and right. Oh look, there's my pursuer. I just recognize. I just recognize that that's one of the players. Um, I'm gonna walk behind this building so I can lure her out and try to confirm that she's my pursuer. Well, I'm screwed. <laughs> I just got hit by throwing knives. Uh, generally, if you have multiple pursuers on you and you can't defend yourself, just give the kill to the one who has fewer points. Oh god, I didn't mean to get in. Oh god, get off! Uh, you're... Is that her? No. Oh, she's one of these. Oh, it's you! You're probably wondering, how did you know that wasn't a bodyguard or a decoy? Well, when the bodyguard or decoy is activated, it flashes white. And since that person that walked out of the crowd did not flash white, I knew it had to be a person. So sometimes it's not worth it to take a slow approach and try to get a stealthy kill. Um, because in this case, my target is a high prestige level player. And he or she is using the edge of the map to try to... Um, lure out the pursuers so he or she will definitely see me coming and I might as well just run and get the kill before he or she realizes it and is able to stun me and you can tell this one's my pursuer um, because she's fast walking towards me Good god, where are they coming from? I have three pursuers on me. Aw, oh, damn it. I was trying to juke her around this tree. <gasps> A gift for me? Time to open this sucker up! Aww. A dead person? But I said I wanted a bike! One minute remaining. Contract lost. Ah, uh, there was no way I was gonna get to her. I'm gonna lock onto you just in case you become my target or pursuer. Oh my god, it actually worked. Oh, and I got the hidden bonus. Oh, come here, fool. Let me stun you. Mmm, girl, you can pounce on me anytime. With the exception of the bullet to the head. I, that is a huge turnoff for me. One last kill! I think I actually beat a level 99 prestige player. Oh, 
Oh my god, I did. Look, I don't care if I came in second, I beat him. That's- I'm happy with the results.